I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. I head on the swivel. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Zach KK is Zach Reviews. We are back again with another video, and guys, this is episode two of All American called It Ain't Going Out Like That. Um, so guys, this was another crazy episode of All American. I just can't believe that we are here with in season four of All American. You know, we're still going strong with you know this series, this great series. Um, this episode, you know, after you know the aftermath of as we all know now, Coop is still alive. And, you know, we see, Co like, in this episode, it's Layla's birthday, and pretty much everybody's trying to celebrate Layla's birthday, except the only one that doesn't want to celebrate, you know, uh, Layla's birthday is Layla. So, this episode was just a crazy episode on pretty much how everybody is, how everybody's trying to adjust back to their normal lifestyle, and how we all know from, in the first episode of, you know, season four, that Layla is, you know, she has trauma after Carrie, and, you know, she wants to not be that same girl that, you know, smiles about everything, she actually wants to tell people, you know, the truth about things, she wants to be her normal self, she doesn't want to be that one person everybody thinks is like the, oh, the happy, smiley girl that has no issues, you know, she, in this episode, really comes to terms with the fact that no one listens to her in this episode, she doesn't really want to celebrate her birthday, she wants to be heard, and she wants to, you know, um, she wants to just pretty much tell people how it is like she wants to be the person that you know people come to that actually will like she'll tell the truth and not just be the person that just smiles and acts like everything's okay and you know we see that through the episode of, you know everybody wants to celebrate her birthday you know we see you know uh jordan we see olivia we see uh simone um and asher are all trying to put a birthday like do a surprise birthday for her and you know she you know starts off the episode pretty much you know she wakes up and she's like please let nobody remember it's my birthday and we see of course we see billy jordan olivia and of course you know uh laura all together pretty much getting ready to celebrate you know uh you know layla's birthday because layla's staying with them now because you know she told her dad previously from the first episode that she feels uncomfortable with her dad and that's that's essentially how why she is who she is is like you know how she feels uncomfortable is because of her dad not being there all that time and that's why she feels unsafe because she never really had you know she never really felt safe with her dad ever since her mom died so you know, I, I really appreciate the fact of it is, is that, you know, we're seeing a, real, a lot of growth from Layla in this new season so far of her wanting to be her own person, wanting to be the person that will not just be the smiling person that everybody knows that likes to party and stuff. She actually is finding out who she is and she wants to embrace who she is and finding out the fact that she wants to be a person that tells people how it is and, you know, and has, you know, and wants people to not be upset on who she, on who she is as a person, on telling people whether things that they might not like or they, if, or and things that they might like, um, just tell them how it is, which I really appreciate. We're seeing some, a lot of character growth from her this season. Um, so, you know, she, you know, isn't happy of the fact that, you know, that, uh, that Laura made her famous, you know, uh, L, like, I guess, uh, L-shaped pancakes, and she does it for, you know, O-shaped pancakes for Olivia's birthday, J-shaped pancakes for Jordan's birthday, and she's like, oh, you only turn 18 once, and he's like, Jordan's like, you turn every, you know, age once, you know what I mean, like, they're, and then, of course, Billy's like, quit it out, like, cut it out, meaning that Billy is still not happy with Jordan, and that's a, a big key focus of this episode is, you know, Layla's not happy with her birthday, and she's not happy with the, the way people are treating her, and, you know, uh, you know, Jordan isn't too happy with, you know, his, you know, with Billy, a aka his father, uh, you know, with, you know, I guess the way he's been treating Spencer, and, you know, I really do like how, you know, Olivia finally shed some light on that to, you know, to Jordan, because Jordan has been pissing me off ever since last season. Of, you know, how he's been, the way he's been feeling about everything, like, oh, you know, you betrayed us, you went to the other, you went to your old school to play against us, and he's been having these temper tantrums, and, you know, he's pretty much the reason that, you know, that, that you know, Spencer's in the doghouse with, you know, I, 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 you know, is in the doghouse with Billy is because, again, you know, pretty much, again, Jordan was going to do this without Billy or not, without Billy's permission of going to try the, you know, get back into football, even though he had all these concussions, Again, he was in the position, you know, Spencer was in the position, okay, he do, he's going to do it without me, if I, if, if he at least, if he does it with me, I can make sure he's going to be okay and does it right, the right way, because again, he went to Spencer, because again, Spencer didn't quit, he still did what he did, and that's how he was able to still play football, is because he pushed himself, even though people said you shouldn't do it, so that's why Jordan went to Spencer, is because he knew Spencer had that drive to and new Spencer knows how it feels like to that's footballs that that's their passion and that's their life and the only anybody that would understand that and the only anybody that's going through what kind of what 
Jordan's going through is Spencer, so that's why he went to Spencer instead of Billy, even though Billy did the same thing Spencer did, and that's why essentially Billy always looks up to Spencer. Always looks up to Spencer is because Spencer initially and Billy are the same person. They always were trying, always that person that would go out for people like that, always the person that would keep like striving for their dreams, even though they were injured or doing something. So, and you know, that's why also Billy always gets upset at Spencer because he gets upset at Spencer and can't forgive Spencer because he gets so angry at Spencer for messing up because he expects Spencer never to mess up. And that's what we see Jordan, you know, confront Billy about saying, you always expect me. Like, how are you take? how are you talking to me, but you won't talk to Spencer? How are you like, you know, you treated Spencer like a son. You know what I mean? Like when you, you moved him in here, you moved him to our school, you did all this thing. So you're going to tell me that you didn't love him more or, you know, didn't love him just as much as his son as you love me. So how, how is that okay that you are forgiving me even though I am your son, but you still treated Spencer like a son, but you're not going to forgive him. Like it's because you expected me to fail. That's why you're, and that's why you, that's why you forgave me. You hate when he fails because you think he's perfect. You think you look up to him in a sense. You know what I mean? You, you, you know what I mean? Like pretty much that's why he keeps letting Spencer, like, you know, not forgiving Spencer is because he, he gets so angry when Spencer messes up because he, he like thinks of Spencer as a person that never messes up. He thinks of him as a perfect human being, literally. But I guess he thinks of Jordan, oh, you always mess up, so I have to forgive you because you're my son. And that's pretty much the excuse. He's like, oh, he's not my son, so I'm not going to forgive him. I'm just his coach. When that's not how it is. He, Billy literally treats Spencer like a son, but he is doing this messed up thing where he's like, oh, he's not actually my son. I'm going to, you know, not forgive him because he needs to learn. He made a mistake, and, you know, there's no room for mistakes or whatever, so he's pretty much screwing over Spencer for no freaking reason, but what really annoyed me is when Olivia finally, you know, like, brought this to Jordan's eye, and I love how Olivia put Jordan in his place saying, you didn't actually win that game. The Eagles lost that game, which it's true. Again, um, you know, uh, I, I always forget Spencer's friend's name. Um, I always, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on the top of my head, but that's true, you know, Spencer, they won that game, you know, Crenshaw, Chris, Chris got that touchdown, he got it over the plane, he got the touchdown, but the refs called it into, they didn't get it, they they were short off the line, but that's not true, we all saw, even Billy saw on the footage, the, the, you know, the, you know, the South Crenshaw won that, won that game, they won that game, the Beverly Eagles didn't, and I really, I, I love that Olivia called him out for that, and that's, um, I'm hoping that will be a big thing later down the line in this season is where, you know, they redo that play and we actually find out again that Beverly, Beverly you know, they they lost, they didn't win. And I hope they challenge that through this season because I felt like that was such a, such a, a bullshit thing that I feel like there's going to be, there, there there's going to be a bigger thing behind why they didn't call the, the call South Crenshaw for winning that, that game. I feel like there's a bigger thing behind that. And I, I'm, and they're acknowledging it. Olivia said they didn't win, uh, you know, Spencer and Jordan are kind of at odds with that. You know, they're kind of at each other's necks about that saying, you know, you didn't win that. And, and I feel like they're really shoving it in their face. And I feel like there might be a, a do-over game. I feel like that's, what's going to happen is maybe they're going to be like, okay, there's, there needs to be a do-over, even though, South Crenshaw clearly won that game, but I feel like there's going to be a do-over where it's like South Crenshaw finally do win it, and nobody can take that from him. I feel like that's where we're going to get at some point. At least that's what I hope because that's bullshit that Jordan thinks that they won when they clearly didn't. And I feel and that really annoyed me the most is that Beverly talked so high and mighty about oh you know what's fair and what's not or whatever, and the fact that they were and they're all they're all they're all against cheating. Clearly, we've seen that you know when when um you know Jordan found out that his dad you know uh you know, uh, cheated the drug test for him, he was furious at his dad, when, you know, all this stuff, you know what I mean, like, he was furious at Asher for taking steroids and all that stuff, so it's like, it really annoys me that Jordan, for the person that gets angry about all these things, he had technically cheated, and he can't admit that they lost that game, that's what really m makes me laugh, and it makes me laugh again, because I think, uh, you know, for a problem that Olivia made that, that, you know, brought to Jordan's intention, like, I love how, you know, dad forgives you, but he won't forgive Spencer, why is that? And, you know, when he finally confronts, you know, uh, you know, you know, Billy about it, he kind of makes it about himself. And that kind of made me annoyed. I'm like, dude, you're kind of making it about yourself, making it sound like it's about you when it's really not. I mean, essentially, he forgave you. That's the thing. He forgave you. There might be some problems with that or whatever. But, I mean, really focus point on not you making it about you. Make it about how it's not fair. Uh, he said kept it more on the fact that you're not forgiving Spencer. 
that's bullshit. And I feel like in a way it kind of goes two ways. But I feel like at the end of the at the end of that con- that argument, it kind of made it made me feel like he was making it about himself, and that kind of made me annoyed. Even though there is. Even though that, that you, there, I could see the problems there where it's like, again, he gets so upset at Spencer because, again, he he looks up to Spencer in a way and, 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 and trusts Spencer to be the adult. He looks at Spencer as an adult, unlike he looks at Jordan not as an adult, and we pretty much see that, and, we, and, he, and, they, and they talk about that again at the end of the party where he's like, you know, I need to start treating you like an adult, like I treat Spencer and all that, and I understand why you went to Spencer and not me, because Spencer puts him in his place. After, you know, they have the, you know, they, like, he tries talking to him, even though Billy's looking right through him, and pretty much, like, you know, through in school, and pretty much giving him this, the, the, like, a, sc- a scowl, like, at the end of the hallway, at, at, at no, like, at, at, in the other side of the room of Layla's birthday party in his house, he's, like, giving him, like, Spencer a weird scowl look, and Laura calls him out for him, like, what are you doing, like, why are you doing that, like, it, I find it very funny that Billy is acting this way. It's like, it annoys the shit out of me that he keeps blaming Spencer, and I'm hoping he comes to terms since he forgave Jordan saying, you know what I mean? Like, I need to try to train you like you're, like you're older now. I hope he finally comes to terms when he looked at Spencer and Olivia that he's actually going to say sorry to Spencer because Spencer has no... He said sorry so many times, even though he shouldn't have. Again, it was not his fault. It is Jordan's fault. And I really do love how Olivia said it's your fault. None of this would happen if you just didn't do what you did, didn't, or even didn't involve Spencer in this. But even then, you know, we all know how Spencer is, and he would have gotten involved either way to make sure Jordan would have been safe. I think he should have been like saying thank you to Spencer. If it wasn't for you, my son could have died. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for him, now I mean like since you did get involved, because again, he would have done it with or without Spencer. And if Spencer didn't get involved knowing what he was doing, he could have actually died. And I feel like that would have been a time for him to blame Spencer in a way. But like, you didn't get involved. You should have gotten involved. You know what I mean? But he did get involved. He pretty much saved his son. Again, as Laura said, Jordan's never played a better game than he did at that at, at the championship game. Which really annoys me, again, going back to you know episode 1 of season 4, last week's episode, where it's like we didn't get to actually encounter that, that, that game. We didn't feel like we were in the game. And we, we, it was all filmed like a flashback. It kind of annoyed me that we, we got something taken away from us as fans because we really wanted to see. That's a big moment where we want to see the adrenaline pumping of this is the final game. What's going to happen? This is all in the line of the school. And yet the school's fine. It's like that, that whole storyline kind of went out of nowhere in a sense. It kind of makes me upset because I feel like where's all that... Um, where was all that? Oh my God! Like you know, the schools like the 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 school is on the line if we don't win this game, and yet the school's okay still. And it's like we don't see Principal Carter anymore. I don't know where he is. We might see him later in the season, but it's like where where was that threat level of oh my God? You know, well, like that kind of annoyed me. It's like or like oh like I feel like we got that like you got like you lost sense of oh my God! I can't believe we lost. Like I feel like we I wish we would have been in the game. I wish we would have actually saw Spencer leave the game game, even though we kind of did, but it was a flashback. I really wish we were just there, and it wasn't like oh, we're, this is we're, we're we're three days past what happened to Coop Layla. And Spencer leaving the game and all the drama happening when they when you know South Crenshaw loses against Beverly Eagles even though they didn't, and then we're and we're learning all of it from flashbacks. I kind of didn't like that, but I still like the episode. Um, but yeah, I'm just you know I'm wondering if Billy will forgive Spencer because again I don't think Spencer did anything wrong and it really annoys me. But going with Layla, you know I feel like you know she really tells you know we really see her just again struggling with the fact of no one treats her, no one listens to her when she says she. She, everybody thinks she's a smiling person and that she's just the older self, even though all these things have happened to her. And she doesn't, you know, grow in, from all the things that have happened. They kind of just think that she is how she is. I mean, Jordan Asher pretty much said that, like, you know, Layla always has parties. She always wants it big. Even though Olivia and Simone are like, she does not want that. She's grown or whatever. Don't do something stupid. And they make this big surprise party. What really made me laugh was the one scene where, like, Spencer... And Olivia are going to get the pinata, and that made me cry when Olivia had that pinata. It looked just like Layla. And I love how Spencer's like, "That looks just like Layla." That's creepy or whatever. It's like, would it be better if you know it looked like you? And she's like, "Oh, you." Know, I thought, wouldn't it be funnier if it looked funnier, funnier if it looked like her ex boyfriend? And be like, "Oh, you mean Asher? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about or whatever." I thought that was funny. And when he's like, "Oh, like um." I, I, or she, Olivia's like, wouldn't it be better if it was my father? Pointing out the fact that she can tell that Spencer keeps trying in it and it makes Spencer upset that, uh, that you know, that Billy won't forgive him. You know what I mean? Like, he just won't forgive him. And, you, and Olivia is trying to be the men, trying to mend the fences between them both because she cares about them both and wants their relationship to work. And we see that through the episode. They keeps on trying, but they end the terms of the episode where it's like, all I, you know, 
if, either if your dad comes around, cool. If he doesn't, that's fine. All I care about is you. I'm going to focus on you. And she's like, yeah, let's focus on us. And then we see the next week's episode where it looks like Spencer is going to be leaving for Toledo State, I think, if I'm correct. I guess a couple of weeks before graduation, it looks like. And um, it looks like we are getting to the point where Olivia pretty much says she wants to talk to Spencer. And I swear to God, I said to myself, if they break up after they just had this conversation, after we just got them together, I'm going to be so annoyed and frustrated. The writers better not screw us because I... We've been holding out since season one for them to get together. And since we finally got it and they're finally saying, let's focus on each other. And if they break up because he's willing, wanting to you know, follow his dreams and and I, I'm going to be really annoyed if, again, what uh, spent what, um, you know, Billy said to Olivia saying, just forget Spencer, you know, don't you shouldn't move to Spencer's college, you know, for a boy, you shouldn't do that. I'm, or just for some boy, as he said, I'm like, dude, how can you say that about Spencer? Just for some boy? Really? Like, really? I'll, the shade that Billy is throwing, I'm happy that that Spencer threw that in, 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 in Billy's face saying, how come Jordan came to me, hum, and not you? Like, how come he came to me and not you? I was like, good burn, bro. F Billy. He's pissing me off. I said, I would love to get some Pam spray. I don't know if anybody's seen this thing on Instagram where, like, this one teacher, like, when his students get A's, he lets them lets them spray Pam spray on this man's bald head and shine it and I saw a student spray the man's head with Pam his bald head and smack his head someone needs to do that to Billy he'd be pissing me off man I don't know what his problem is but I, I just don't know I need to know you how you guys are feeling about that because that really annoys me that he's acting like this it's just it it's so out of character for Billy and it makes me so upset and makes me just look at Billy in a different way it makes me think he's just petty and something like you know what I mean it just it just annoys me um but going away from that, since we kind of, you know, maybe that will get resolved in the next episode, hopefully, and, you know, hopefully Olivia and Spencer don't break up in the next episode, um, we're going on to Coop and what she's been going through. Like, Coop, apparently, she's been acting weird, you know, she can't, um, you know, I found it very weird when she was in the studio not being able to, you know, uh, rap or whatever, like, she was having trouble with the words, and I was like, oh my god, I'm like, something's wrong. Right when she was acting weird with patients, pretty much you know, not talking to patients, I'm like, she's changed after that situation. She probably doesn't want to talk about it because she was close to death, literally. She, I'm thinking in my head, that's probably what, what is going to get resolved. She's going to be like, I'm so close to death, I don't really want to talk about it. I just want to move on you know, with my life and stuff. But I was like, in my head, I'm like, there's something wrong when you know it just wasn't going the right way. And when uh, Layla met up with Coop for you know, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a session, so I was like, something's going wrong with Coop. She's not being able to rap or like she's not being able to like get words out i mean something's wrong and she like kept making excuses of saying oh i think there was something i hear something in the headphones oh the music is too fast and she's like everything is fine something is wrong and she's like you know and then, you know koopa's like i guess it's just an off day and what really hurt my feelings is that i understand layla was angry about you know people i guess not listening to her about her birthday party or giving her a birthday party but like she sounded very rude to koopa and she's like you know you're wasting my time and money if you can't do this today let's just do it some other time I was like, damn, I, and and Coop acknowledged that she's like, you know, Layla didn't kind of treat me okay today, you know, and we weren't we weren't both at our best selves. We'll we'll just come back again, but you know, when when Coop finally you know talked to Patience, you know, when 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 Coop was about to break up with, or when, actually when Patience was about to break up with Coop, that's when Coop finally let out what was wrong, and when she said that she couldn't rap anymore because of her lungs, her not getting enough air in her lungs because her lungs almost failed. That really got to me in the fact that Mo, Mo didn't take her life, but Mo took her passion, and that is like taking, taking her soul. That's like taking Coop's soul away, and 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 Mo took the took, the biggest thing that Coop that Coop always believes in, which is hope, and took that away from her. She took away her passion and her hope. She took away her life, which was music. Something that saved her, Coop's life was music, and took that away from her. That's worse. That's worse probably the Coop. You know, then taking her life, essentially. She's probably, Coop's probably thinking that at that point she should have taken my life because she did take away my life because I can't sing. The one thing I love, I can't do it. I, I, she took away my dreams. She took away my, my hopes and dreams, like everything away from me, essentially. And essentially, it looks like she's, ma is making, you know, making Coop, I guess, in a way, not want to be with patience anymore. Pretty much pushing patience away. She's doing that to, you know, Coop's doing that to patience. Mo kind of did it to Coop to push away patience in a way because if Coop doesn't have hopes and dreams anymore, she just I think she's gonna she's gonna literally 
you know, stumble into getting back into a gang again. I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like that's where Coop's going to be heading, and she's going to be, you know, she is going to be, you know, going into a gang. I feel like that's where we're heading with that character with Coop is because, again, that's what Coop, what's what Patience, you know, father was afraid of. You know, she was in the gang. You know what I mean? And now, you know, then she, and then you know, she's putting you in danger. She got shot, and I don't want that for you. You know. I don't know if you know this, but anywhere Coop goes, you know, uh, you know, drama goes, you know, I mean, trouble always finds Coop. And that's exactly what Patience was saying to preach. Like, any, no matter where Coop goes, trouble follows. And that's what, that's what the big thing was with, you know, Spencer saying that to Coop and everything and everybody pretty much saying that about Coop. Wherever she goes, trouble follows. And it's like, it makes me sad because it's like, you know what I mean? It's like they're really outcasting Coop and all that stuff, but when Spencer's gotten involved in all that stuff, but it's true in a way that Coop gets herself in in bigger stuff, and Spencer always follows and stuff like that. So it's like Coop was always the person that you know Spencer stayed away from all the stuff that Sean did, but Coop was the one that really wanted to save Sean, but it didn't work. Then she wanted to save Preach, and then the way it kind of didn't work because he well, he went to jail and he had one more strike, and that's why she's trying to protect him, getting back in the, in a gang. She's kind of like not getting back in the gang stuff, but she kind of is by lying to the police officer saying who shot Mo. She's saying she shot Mo, trying to save Preach. So essentially, she's getting herself back involved with drama and all that stuff. And I feel like, I don't know, in a way, Spencer would, but in a way, Spencer wouldn't because, again, he knows what he what not to do to get because he knows that will get his family in danger and that's the one thing that you know coop takes it to an extreme hero complex and spencer only takes it to a certain extent and i just i don't know it makes me sad that you know that patience is kind of in a way listening to her father father pretty much getting ready to break up with coop and that's why coop said this this and that but when she finally you know pulled back patience back into you know the relationship she pretty he, coop kind of let her go in a way like are making or what is making patience not want to be with her by saying oh I'm, I'm done with my music i'm done with my hopes and dreams i'm done believing in hope and that's pulling away patience on the person that patience fell in love with hence why she was crying on the old video of coop with her singing and being happy because that's not the same coop where that like mo took her her heart and her soul with her when she died when mo died she took coop's heart and soul with her and it's like where will coop bounce back how will coop bounce back will she sing again will she rap again i think she will but she need. But I love how Spencer said, "Don't let her go. No matter what, just don't let her go. Always be there, stick beside her because she's going to need you." And I have a feeling. I feel like I. I hope Patience listens to that because it looks like she isn't going to listen to what Spencer said. I don't know. But that's, there's not enough for me to tell until we see more episodes going forward. But it looks like she's pretty much done. I mean, hence why she was crying because it's not the same Coop she fell in love with. We're seeing Coop spiral, and I'm wondering where will i'm wondering where will preach go from there will 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 preach be the one that bounces back and away from all the stuff that went, that happens and will and will coop spiral and become maybe a, 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 a someone in a gang i don't know what will happen with that character i'm just hoping she can make a bounce back and she can rap again and she can over, overcome everything and believe in hope again i'm just hoping we can really see that i hope spencer is there to help her through that along with patience and everybody else because she needs friends right now so i'm excited to see where that will go going forward in the season um but yeah, with, I mean, I'm essentially, that's pretty much it. Also, also JJ, what I thought was funny with JJ, and we'll get into Asher because I forgot about Asher. Um, JJ, I thought, I think it's funny that, you know, he is God knows somewhere, but he wanted to be involved with Layla's birthday. So he did uh, a, a JJ in the box. I thought that was funny. Anyway, he was the one that was like pretty much, you know, made the design of her desk in, in her, in her uh, classroom. I thought that was funny that JJ is just a, a kind soul, but sometimes he, he like, he, 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 he does, like, too much, in a sense, but he's such a kind soul, I feel bad for JJ when people, like, hurt his feelings and stuff, but, um, going into with Asher and him, you know, Coach Montez giving him hope again after he pretty much came to terms of, you know, him not being able to play anymore because he's went to so many doctors, that was really interesting with Coach Montez saying, you know, I, I mean, I, my father, my, uh, my, my husband knows something, knows, uh, you know, uh, a doctor that can talk, that can help you and that works with, with athletes, like, he might give you a sign of hope where it's like he might give you a chance where it maybe there's a chance that you can still play. And even though, you know, Asher came to terms, he's like, you know, it's in my genetics and it's in my father's genetics. You know what I mean? It's, it's not my fault he gave me some crappy genes. Like, it's just how it is. You know, I just need to move on. And he was kind of coming to terms, even though it was tough seeing, you know, when he saw, you know, uh, when he was with uh, Jordan 
and when he was with, uh, you know, Spencer, when Spencer was working, he, uh, Jordan and Spencer were talking to each other, and, you know, he's like, oh, you know, they were talking about, oh, like, oh, like, oh, see the rings or whatever, and he's like, yeah, he's like, I have them, but I didn't really participate, and he's like, and, you know, of course, Spencer's like, you know, the rings that you didn't win, or didn't actually, you won, you didn't win fair and square, and pretty much, you know, I know there's something there, and I feel like we're, we're gonna get more into that on who actually won, because we know who won, um, but you know, seeing, you know, Asher is just not okay with it, he's pretending he's okay, but he's not, I mean, he knows think about it like you have two of his best friends that have succeeded an injury that have over surpassed an injury overcome an injury and he couldn't do that i think i'm hoping there might be a chance where he can but i don't think it is possible because apparently we end up finding out at the end of this episode when he finally gets the results from that doctor that coach montez sent him up with apparently it's because he took all the steroids and that's pretty much what is giving him his heart problems is because he took steroids he did it to himself and it was funny because you know he's looking for alcohol and that's when coop comes along and says you know he propped uh you know i can't believe you're trying to find alcohol after olivia had her last real relapse you know what i mean they're not gonna have alcohol in the house and he's like oh i i guess it's it's good that they didn't because that wouldn't have been good for me anyways and you know and she's like you know explain like he's like oh like um you know what I mean? Like I, I like oh I thought you know getting shot would have helped like helped with your rap or whatever, and and she's like oh I thought you know steroids would have helped uh, an athlete be better at football or something like that. Whereas I was like that's kind of you know both stereotypical on each side. I thought that was kind of like funny that you know they're not afraid to like say stuff like that. In all American, they talk about real real life situations and real stereotypical things in 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 real life, and I just that's why I love about the show. They're not afraid to like talk about those things and all that stuff so i really enjoyed that i was like that's kind of funny that they're talking about that you know what i mean that they're, they're kind of cracking jokes saying i thought you taking steroids would have made you a better player i mean i thought ster- uh you getting shot would make you a better rapper or, uh, or something like that i was like i was like that's some stereotypical shit right there i was like but um other than that i mean guys like this was just another oh uh, how about Asher's mom saying stay away from my son the coach Montez and she's like oh this and she's making she's like you're not my, my son's coach anymore and she's like just stop trying to use this as an excuse for you to be uh to to finally be a better mom or something like that I was like damn coach Montez you came with the clap back I said you go girl I was like you go girl I was like damn I was like what a great clap back good for you coach Montez like you know what I mean she's like like she's like don't like um she's uh, this is what uh, you know, Asher's mom said, like, don't, um, don't try to, uh, you know, uh, live your dreams through my son's dreams or whatever. And she's like, don't try to relive your, your, your happy mom, you know, try, don't try to live, relive trying to be a mom when you weren't there all the time or whatever. I was like, damn, that clap back really, uh, really was a good burn coach Montez. I was like, I see you. It's like, it's true. Like coach Montez is really the only one that really wants is really looking out for Asher. Uh, his mom is only really looking out for herself saying I don't want it because it's it's something that like I'm afraid of it's something that it's one of my fears and it's like Asher wants to overcome those fears Asher wants to really achieve his dreams and the only one that is really being there for him as a mom should be is really trying to push their son to try to you know overcome this injury is coach Montez coach Montez I would say is a second mom to Asher I would say it is a mom to Asher because coach Montez is the only one that's really there for Asher except his mom and I feel like that's why they really she was really getting angry at coach Montez because you know she's trying she is a, mo- a mother figure to Asher and it's so true and I'm excited to see I'm hoping Asher can make a comeback I'm really hoping because if not I feel like he'll make a comeback in a great way where he'll be an assistant coach for maybe maybe Beverly Eagles or he'll be the coach for Beverly Eagles right when they graduate I think that could happen that's a possibility um but I'm just excited to see where we're going with these characters going forward in the season because I feel like we're we're on we're on, we're 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 getting to a storm coming of drama. I feel like we're getting there with the whole you know maybe there could be a rematch, maybe there could be fights breaking out on you know friendships lost you know because I feel like they're kind of friendships being lost between Jordan and Spencer in a way because again I feel like they they're not saying it but I feel like Spencer's really pissed about them thinking that they won because they're shoving it in people's faces even though they didn't win. And I feel like there's gonna be a point where like let's do a rematch then let's go let's go we'll see who actually won because we know who win and I feel like they won't want to or feel like because they they know they didn't actually win. So I'm just excited to come like with them to actually get like them to hopefully get a rematch and we'll actually see a, a championship game. No flashbacks, no nothing. We actually get to see them fight for this title. That's what I'm hoping because I feel like we really missed out in episode one of season four where we didn't actually see them. We weren't actually there in person being in the battle of the fate of the school and who's going to win that title. I feel like there was just we didn't feel that. I didn't feel that like, oh, my God, like, let's go adrenaline. Like, let's get it. 
And, I mean, yeah, it just kind of disappointed me and all that stuff. But it is what it is. I still thought it was a great episode. I loved this episode. I just, I'm loving this season so far. I'm just, I'm so happy on the, the one normal show on the CW as not it has not been screwing up and it's been it's 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 this is like the one great show on the CW that gets better and better every year besides of I think uh, Star Girl and you know Superman and Lois are, are are doing great so far and I think those are on the superhero end those are the only two good superhero shows on the CW but but show wise I think this is the best show on the CW hands down and I would say probably um pro I probably do legacies than Riverdale um, because I I feel like, you know, we have a little bit more better seasons of Legacies than I would say Riverdale. Um, but, you know, I don't know. That second half of Riverdale just didn't click with me very well until I think the last episode or something like that. But I think, you know, we're, we're going to make a clap back in season, I think, six of Riverdale I think we're getting into. So I think we're gonna, that season is going to be a really good season because we're getting Sabrina and a whole bunch of other cool things. But that's a different video to talk about. But um, I just really enjoyed this episode. And I, I cannot wait to talk to you guys down in the comments below about what you guys thought about, liked about this episode and what you guys thought about this episode. I really want to know what you guys thought about my key points of what I was talking about, about all these characters and where they might go and, and like, and how they're feeling and all that stuff. I really want to know what your opinions are down in the comments below. So again, uh, talk, let's talk in down in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. All you guys do is spread love, positivity, and motivation here on this channel. In the comments, you guys, pretty much, you guys motivate me to keep striving for greatness, keep striving for my dreams, to get to 400 subscribers, which we're almost there right now. We're at, um, literally, we're at 3... Um, 95 right now on subs. We're almost to 400 subscribers, so I'd love it. Again, if you guys subscribe to the channel, put those notifications, and like this video, it helps with the algorithm. I always say that. It's true. It helps with the algorithm. It helps, you know, uh, you know, push these videos out there for new family members that come to the channel, and, you know, that's what we're all about here is, you know, spreading love, positivity, and motivation. We're, we're a growing family here on this channel. We, 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 all we do, again, is spread love, positivity, and motivation here on this channel. That's why, that's why I built this channel is that we could all talk about things that we love, pop, you know, pop culture and cinema and just, you know, th and shows and movies and everything that we love and just even a casual talk about, you know, how everybody's day was and stuff like that. I really want this to be a cool, safe place where we can talk about things that we love and care about and just, you know, things that make, ha make us happy and stuff and, you know, and where we want to go in our lives and, you know, our dreams and motivations and stuff and we can all, like, you know, cheer each other on and motivate each and every, each and every one of us and, you know, and pretty much you inspire each and every one of us and just do a whole bunch of cool things here on this channel. That's why I made this channel. Um, but guys, I just cannot believe we are in season four of All American. I just can't believe that. Uh, again, it feels like we just ended last like a couple of months ago and we're just back again. It's crazy how, how fast time goes. But I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to see this family grow again on this channel each and every day. And I'm so happy when people comment down below because I love talking to you guys. It's the best part of my day. You know, hearing we, we, uh, how much you guys love about the love the show as much as I do, and just you know, just you know, meeting new friendly faces each and every day it makes me really happy. But guys, again, I hope you guys join the family here on this channel. Again, we're almost to 400 subscribers, so make it happen, guys. I would love it if you guys can make it happen. I would love to get to 800 or 700 before the end of this year. That's my goal. Hopefully, we can do it. Um, that'd be amazing. Um, but guys, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Again, I can't wait to hear down in the comments below what you guys thought about episode two of All American. But guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.